Okay. Uh, isn't that it again? Maybe I'll make this a second video. I don't know because I think I may um, waste two minutes over there. So I'll probably do this one as a second video. Now I'm going to show you the other bars that the public is seeing. Is this. This is the door. Um, this is the lock to the door. Um, um, here in Puerto Rico, they use a lot of these gates. This, nobody could come in unless they break the gate. You know, or you have keys naturally. And this is not the window. This is the balcony. This is where we go out of the house. Um, let's see. Okay, I have here all my plants. As you can see. There too. Um, I use this as a laundry. I have my... I put it? My... Uh, how do you call that? <laughs> washing machine. I have my washing machine here because it's much easier in my disability to do the things I have to do here. So then I have all my plants here. This is also part of the gate. This is supposed to be a balcony that is this high. But then you add these metal things and it's, you know, it's very, very strong. It's not that easy to get in. So, you know, this is as a safety precaution. You know, when I'm alone, I don't have to worry because I got this box secured. And if you see over there, use the socks. <laughs> like I said, I've been washing clothes. Um, as you can hear the washing machine also. Uh, and this part here is not the window. This part is the other side of the balcony. And this is what you hear, see here. This is the window, the white one. This part over here is the, how you call it, the gates. That's what they call it, gates. So this is all just to keep the house secure. If you're alone, you don't have to worry about somebody breaking in because you have this. You can also use these gates. They make gates like for doors. You know, in my other door, I don't have one, but I have locks on it, you know, inside locks. So it's very hard. It's a metal, also it's a metal um, door. They will have to break the whole frame out. And by the time they break the whole frame, you call the cops and they're already in here. So, you know, that's the main thing. So just to get it, keep it clear what this is, this is just a balcony, as you can see. Excuse the mess. <laughs> I got to fix that. I'm washing clothes. And it's just a big balcony. Uh, pretty long size. It's like uh, 15 feet long, you know. And like, I don't know how long, how wide it is. Uh, let's say seven, five, seven feet wide. So it's pretty long. You know, I could still put plants on this side, which I don't because I don't want to be too crumbled up with the wheelchair. But when I finish my outside um, raised bed, uh, most of these plants are going outside. You know, uh, we already bought a couple of, um, how do you call it? A couple of, um, bricks we're bringing them in little by little because my husband's car is small so it doesn't bring in that much but it's starting to look nice ain't it <laughs> we're gonna leave the bottom part like i said before we're gonna clean it out we're gonna paste these at the same level as this one you know fill it up with dirt i'm gonna put like a bridge or like something across so the dogs don't jump you know because they usually jump and get inside the house this way i have this which I'm going to take out. That way we could fix this balcony. Because uh, it's starting to become a mess again. You know. Everything that we painted. Look how ugly it is again. You know with my wheelchair. <laughs> Over there it was nice and beautiful. Right there. The wheelchair already messed it up too. But I can't help it. You know if I'm in a tight place. The wheelchair will make um, marks. But anyway. I'm very happy with my house. <laughs> you know. So I have these that I have to fill out. I have these culantros. Uh I don't know if they're corridors. It don't look like corridors to me. So anyway, I don't know what it is. This I have a little thing here. I don't know if it's lemon or what. I put it there and let it grow and see what grows out of it. So I put some of these culantros over here because they're too tight over there. And I probably have to take out some more because of... Um, I call it the tightness they they don't have the space like to grow so most likely I just put some more here because when they grow and they have seeds 
I want to make a seed giveaway with them. Um, so um, a lot of people, you know, they're, they're not Hispanic. They don't know so much about this plant. So I would like to give it to them. Whoever doesn't have it, you know, and they are uh, um, not, um, I call it Hispanic, it would be great because they could taste something from another country, from the Caribbeans. <laughs> so anyway, that's all for now. And I hope I made it clear what it is, what's the windows and what the gates are. The gates are in brown. The windows are in white. The windows are aluminum. And the gates are, I don't know if they're steel or whatever. They're very hard. You know, you just paint them, decorate them, you know, whatever. But that's what we use uh, over here in most of the Caribbean islands and Puerto Rico. Uh, with the high rate of crime, well, uh, there's almost every house, every almost every cement house has one of these gates. You know, they're a little expensive, but they're worth it because uh, you feel more secure. You know, it's very hard to get in. So that's all for now. God bless you all, and till next time. Bye-bye.